Hi, welcome to the Prepared Scenery tutorial. I'm Max Perry, and I'm going to show you how to change the default prepared scenery into this with publicly available datasets and the free prepared SDK toolset. For developers and pilots alike, this tutorial will help further enhance the terrain around over 24,000 airports and add a customized user experience at no extra cost. This is sort of a cooking show, so I've sped up a few parts of the video and do a couple things behind the scenes to save time. To follow along, you will also need to download an open source GIS tool called FW Tools. With practice, a large area of customized scenery can be created in just hours. Now here are the four simple steps of this tutorial. Step number one. Select and download data from the U.S. Geological Survey website. The data I've added to prepared comes from the national map. From the home page, National Map, you can click on a link to the viewer. There's a lot of information here to view and download. Under imagery, you can see that there are more options. We are going to download NAIP, National Agricultural Imagery Program Data, and it covers the entire continental US, so I don't need to turn it on right now and this will speed up loading. The viewer works very similar to other mapping programs and has easy navigation with the mouse. I'm zooming into Mount Rainier in Washington State to grab a part of the same data set that I showed off earlier in the video. Note that the map also shows an airport location to the top right. Once you have narrowed your area of interest, you can click the Download Data button at the top of the web page. It is going to prompt you with how you want to further select the chunks of your data. I'm going to use the USGS 24K index. This is the default and, and helps prevent downloading duplicate data. After I've selected my 24K region, it will show the results on the left, and I can click Download to specify which data sets from this region I want to download. There are many types of data to download, and most have multiple formats to download, including shapefiles for other prepared terrain creation. For this tutorial, I'm only interested in ortho imagery, and I'm going to stick with the default GeoTIFF file format. After selecting this, it will add the items to your cart and note that it further breaks up the 24K index into smaller chunks for downloading. On the left hand side we can see and confirm we've selected the correct data. After you click checkout, you will be prompted to give your email address and you will receive an email with links to your downloads. Step number two, reproject using FW Tools. After you have downloaded the data and extracted it, we can now run FW Tools on the data to create a copy of the file that is in the required projection for prepared, WGS84. The command starts with GDAL warp, which is the process, and the dash TSRS tells the process that the following information will be the destination projection system. Following this is the location and the name of the source file I wish to reproject, and it is followed by the destination file's name and location. After saving this in a text file, I will now select it all with Control A and either right click and copy it or use the Control C hotkey to copy it to the clipboard. Back at the FW Tools shell, I can now right click and paste the clipboard command and run the process. In your project folder, you will now have a new reprojected file in the correct coordinate system. After your image is reprojected, you can use the resample tool to convert your imagery to a prepared BGL. Step number three, create BGL file using resample tool from prepared's online SDK. First, your imagery will need an INF file. I have one called Ranger Creek INF. There is a sample INF file, Millennium Image INF, in the Terrain SDK Resample Examples folder, and I'll compare the differences. The file type in both is GeoTIFF. The source directory and file has changed to the location and name of the new data. The layer, imagery, is correct. Change this to elevation for DEM or elevation models. The variation is day, but with this setting, it will also appear at night. Null value settings allow the tool to ignore pixels with the specified RGB value. When you reproject an image, the image changes shape, leaving pixels along the edge that have no data. Typically a GIS program assigns them and they are usually pure black or pure white RGB values like shown here. The destination section also contains the file location and for the destination BGL and the name for that BGL. The output file type will be the prepared scenery file BGL and we are going to let the tool auto-create the levels of detail for this imagery. To run the resample tool, open a command window. A good tip is to set the location of the prepared SDK in your environment variable path, so you only have to type resample to call the tool. I'm going to copy the location of the ranger.inf file and paste it in after I type resample. 
I still need to tell it to use the ranger.inf from this location, so I hit tab and it auto-completed the name of the file. Hit enter and it will resample the file. A good plan is to preview the resulting BGL with TMF Viewer. This tool is a BGL viewer from the prepared SDK in the Terrain SDK folder that works on imagery, elevation, or shapefile based BGLs. You can drag and drop your BGL into this window and get a good idea if it's going to look correct and prepared. Use the plus and minus keys to zoom in and zoom out. The last thing that needs to be done is to place the BGL into the add-on scenery slash scenery location and prepare to see it in the simulation. The add-on scenery folder is a great place to put test scenery before moving it into its own location to stay organized. I'm adding this demo BGL to the other Ranger demo BGLs I have created to build the area shown in the video. Adding multiple tiles of photo imagery gives you a chance to familiarize and train yourself with the actual terrain. So remember the four easy steps to create your own custom scenery, and if you need more information, go to prepared.com. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.